very good evening. You're watching the 11 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the outgoing Malaysian Ambassador to Bahrain, Ahmed Shahizan Abdul Samad. His Royal Highness praised the Ambassador's efforts in boosting and developing bilateral ties, wishing him success in his future duties. He also noted his keenness on enhancing Bahraini-Malaysian relations in all fields, highlighting the importance of Malaysia and its developmental experience. The ambassador thanked His Royal Highness for his support in facilitating his tasks, affirming his country's keenness to enhance cooperation with Bahrain. National Guard Commander Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa met with Pakistani Prime Minister Mohammed Nawaz Sharif and conveyed to him the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa as well as his best wishes of more progress and prosperity to the Pakistani people. Both sides discussed historic relations between the two friendly countries and Pakistan's key role in regional stability. They also reviewed bilateral trade and military relations and ways of bolstering them. The National Guard commander hailed Pakistan's support of the GCC countries in their efforts to maintain security and stability and confront foreign interference in internal affairs. National Guard commander Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, who is currently visiting Pakistan, also met with Speaker of the National Assembly of Pakistan, Sardar Ayaz Sadiq, at his office in Islamabad. Sardar Ayaz welcomed the visit of His Highness, commending the deep-rooted relations and the friendship between the two countries. He affirmed Pakistan's keenness to reinforce these relations for the benefit of both nations. They exchanged views and opinions regarding bilateral ties, as well as means of developing them, particularly in the political and parliamentary fields. On this occasion, the National Guard commander expressed thanks and appreciation to the Speaker of the National Assembly of Pakistan and praised the bilateral parliamentary cooperation between the two friendly nations. He said it reflects the strength of Bahraini-Pakistani cooperation to include parliamentary coordination in international events. The meeting was attended by Bahrain's ambassador to Pakistan, Mohammed Ibrahim Mohammed. National Guard Commander Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa met Pakistani Army Commander Lieutenant General Kamar ba Javed Bajwa at the Pakistani Army headquarters in Rawalpindi. The Pakistani commander welcomed His Highness, praising the level of close friendship and cooperation in the interest of both countries and peoples. His Highness expressed gratitude and appreciation to the Pakistani Army Commander for his keenness and diligence towards cooperation, affirming Bahrain's aspiration to boost this cooperation to achieve shared interests. He also praised the advancement of the Pakistani Armed Forces, wishing the Islamic Republic of Pakistan further progress and prosperity. Existing military cooperation between Bahrain and Pakistan in various fields was discussed during the meeting. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, chaired today the Council's weekly meeting. The meeting approved issuing a statement denouncing the armed terrorist attack on Jawa prison, which resulted in the death of a police officer and the escape of a number of inmates. The statement also requested the Ministry of Interior to take the necessary precautions to avoid the escape of prisoners. The Council also approved issuing another statement denouncing the act of several businessmen and merchants in Bahrain who attempted commercial and social normalization with Israeli Zionists. The Council also approved a proposal to find a solution for the crisis of 14 Bahraini employees who have not yet received wages for four months. It approved another proposal allocating Bilaj al Jazair to the Southern Governorate Municipality to become a public beach. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, today inaugurated the Bahrain Centre for Parliamentary Training in the General Secretariat of the Representatives Council. Present were the Secretary General Abdullah bin Khalaf al Dosri and the Assistant Secretary General Yasha al Sharawi. Al Mullah delivered a speech in which he stated that the inauguration is a significant development for the Council in general and for parliamentary and legislative action in particular. He said that the Centre will offer training workshops for citizens who are interested in parliamentary and legislative work. It will also introduce the first course on His Majesty the King's Reform Project, which will highlight the achievements of the Democratic March in the political, economic, legislative and legal spheres. The aim of establishing the centre is to develop and train administrative staff at the General Secretariat and to enhance the employee's experience.